Sebo, how are you? I'm all right, sir. Good. The um, reason why I'm here is to uh, get a view of the uh, uh, situation after the election and during the election period. And uh, this time, what went wrong during the election period? Why the violence and why here? Yeah, the violence was here because uh, Nandala, people liked Nandala so much. And this man was uh, on opposition. Uh, the people and the government never wanted him to go back to parliament. And yet, Nandala had performed, people had uh, seen the good things in him and were determined to, to, to vote him back to parliament. Yeah, um, we saw fights between uh, supporters of Nandala and uh, those of uh, uh, Honorable Abdea. What is the contention all about? Two people from the same uh, uh, from the same tribe and from the same area. Why the fight? Yeah, the fight was that uh, one of them is a performer and the other was not a performer. The people wanted a performer, but those in the government wanted that one was not for the people. He voted. The power belongs to the people, yeah. and we all know that. Nandala has been voted as the people's uh, leader. Yeah. We've had so many fights even after the elections. What causes these fights? Yeah, the fights are all about uh, intimidating people who continue supporting in Nandala so that they can silence him, they can silence them. And they don't talk about uh, the good things Nandala is doing. The election is finished. What we would have thought is the unification of both sides to work together for a greater good. Why is uh, Wabdeya side still pushing for violence? Yeah, that one we, we think we are also not understanding because for us on the side of Nandala, we are in for development. But those ones over there, I think they were disgruntled due to the failure in the election. So they are still carrying it forward to beat people. <coughs> Where are these militias getting uh, power to go on uh, tormenting the villages? I've heard they wear army uniforms and they still beat up people day and night. Yeah, we suspect these people have, uh, the government have uh, a hand in them. Because even if you report to security officers, they, they hardly take action. What will you do as uh, uh, residents of this area? Yeah, the residents are organizing, they want to mobilize themselves so that they can provide the security for themselves. And how are you going to do that, since the security is not able to work with you? Yeah, well, as, the, as the citizens of the country, we cannot leave ourselves to be, to be battered, to be killed. When we are looking, we are also going to organize ourselves, we organize our people. We sit the, as a local, with the local councils and then we see what we can do for security. Lastly, what do you tell Ugandans out there who will be watching this interview? Yeah, I'll tell Ugandans that you to stop supporting a system which is not providing security for the people and we put in place a system that will guarantee people's security and the people's uh, welfare. Thank you. We've both seen a great number of people gathering in that hall where Nandara Maf uh, Honorable Nanda Mafabi was. What were they saying? Yeah, these people are lamenting about the increasing food prices, hard life they are going through, and actually they are coming to see that they can give them something to survive. Okay, um, it, is, it is a trend today that many people are actually uh, protesting to uh, invoke government to answer their cries regarding on the inflation and high prices of uh, commodities. Has it been the same in Imbali? Yeah, yeah, people, people, people have protested. And uh, I think sometime in May, there was a protest in Imbali. People were beaten, but they were all protesting against the increasing food prices. Thank you very much. Yeah.